January 2012. The GOI-1 satellite photographs a strange oval formation in a wilderness of ice. Analysis of the image measures the concentric ovals at 400 feet wide. Archaeologist Mark Altewiel takes a closer look. The kind of thing that when you see it almost anywhere in the world, you say immediately, it definitely is man-made. The rings of the structure look like the walls of some sort of compound, like something that's been designed. We're in the middle of the Antarctic, so what in the world is that doing there? The image comes from one of the most remote, untouched regions on Earth, the vast frozen deserts of East Antarctica. This is in the middle of nowhere, one of the most inhospitable terrains on the planet. It's the coldest, driest, windiest place on Earth. It's thousands of miles from any other civilization. Investigators consider a possible natural explanation for the phenomenon. Could it be a bizarre ice formation caused by powerful Antarctic winds? They're called catabatic winds, and they can form these features called sastrugi, equivalent of dunes over snow. Sastrugi are sharp, wave-like ridges in the snow's surface that run parallel to the direction of the wind. They can form highly unusual shapes, but rarely those visible in the image. We are probably not looking at Sestrugi in this image because the feature here is circular and not long and linear, like the general pattern of Sestrugi. There's another force of nature caused by ice melt in Antarctica that might explain the shape of this feature. If it was a natural process that explained this feature, my first clue would be those dark splotches. I would say the dark packages are surface melt. That surface melting tends to pond and form what are called supraglacial lakes. The surface of these lakes can refreeze, leaving a pool of liquid water under the ice. If that pond drains out, it will leave a void underneath the ice, which could then collapse inward. And the structure that you see here, you can almost imagine a circular pond that has collapsed inward and created these cracks as the ice could collapse in. Kind of this is a punch effect. Collapsing ice could conceivably create similar shapes on a thinly covered pond. But in Antarctica, the ice sheets can be incredibly thick. Three and a half miles of ice covers most of Antarctica. Ice sheets miles deep are unlikely to collapse. We can learn a lot from satellite imagery, but without actually going there, we're not going to be able to figure out exactly what this depression is.